Neil Irwin's book, The Alchemists, Three Central Bankers and a World on Fire, offers a detailed account of the global financial crisis of 2008 to 2009 and the role of three central bankers in managing it. The book offers insights into the inner workings of the central banks of the United States, Europe, and Japan and their response to the crisis. One of the central themes of the book is the importance of central banks in managing the global economy. The book highlights the pivotal role played by the Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, and the Bank of Japan in managing the financial crisis. The author argues that the global economy would have collapsed if not for the coordinated efforts of these central banks. The book also offers insights into the personalities of the three central bankers, Ben Bernanke, Jean-Claude Trichet, and Masaaki Shirakawa. The author provides a detailed account of their background, experiences, and leadership styles. Bernanke, who was the chairman of the Federal Reserve at the time of the crisis, is portrayed as a quiet academic with a deep understanding of economic theory. Trichet, who headed the European Central Bank, is described as a tough and disciplined leader who was committed to maintaining the stability of the euro. Shirakawa, the governor of the Bank of Japan, is depicted as a thoughtful and cautious leader who was deeply concerned about the impact of the crisis on Japan's economy. Another central theme of the book is the complexity of the global financial system. The author argues that the crisis was caused by a combination of factors, including the growth of the housing market, the development of complex financial instruments, and the deregulation of the financial sector. The book provides a detailed account of the factors that led to the crisis and the challenges faced by central banks in managing it. One of the strengths of the book is the author's ability to explain complex economic concepts in a clear and accessible manner. The author uses simple language and real-life examples to explain concepts such as quantitative easing, inflation targeting, and the balance sheet of central banks. This makes the book accessible to readers with little or no background in economics. Another strength of the book is the author's use of storytelling to bring the events of the crisis to life. The author uses vivid descriptions and anecdotes to paint a picture of the people and institutions involved in the crisis. This makes the book engaging and readable. However, one weakness of the book is its narrow focus on the three central bankers. The author provides little insight into the perspectives of other key players in the crisis, such as politicians, regulators, and bankers. This limits the scope of the book and leaves some questions unanswered. In conclusion, The Alchemists, Three Central Bankers and a World on Fire, is a well-written and informative account of the global financial crisis and the role of central banks in managing it. The book offers valuable insights into the complexities of the global financial system and the importance of central banks in managing the economy. However, its narrow focus on the three central bankers may leave some readers wanting more.